Psalm 136. If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. Side one. By the rivers of Babylon, be sad to neglect, remembering Zion. On the road, we do we hung on our heart. In that place, they asked us, that those who had captured us, to sing them a song. Sing us, they said, a song of Zion. They had brought us a fortune and us for joy. How shall we sing the songs of the Lord in a foreign land? Jerusalem, if I forget you, send my right hand to oblivion. Let my tongue stick in my throat if I do not remember, if I do not rank Jerusalem the first of my joys. Remember. Before the angels, I will bless you, my God. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will make music to you, worship before your holy temple. I will
And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms and hymns and inspired songs to God. You will give me the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. You will give me the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. I will find happiness at your right hand forever. You will give me the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You will give me the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening. Good evening. So I, uh, my name is Bishop George Lucy, and I'm the presiding bishop of the American National Catholic Church. And I wanted to thank uh, your pastor, uh, Father Victor, uh, for inviting me along with your board of ministry and you who are here to celebrate with us the incarnation of Father Victor in the parish of the American National Catholic Church. I want to take a moment to welcome uh, my brother uh, and colleague, Father Joseph Spina from St. Francis Sinclair in Fort Lauderdale, and Sister Michelle, a member of the Franciscan Community of Mercy, and Paul, who is the uh, uh, administrator at St. Francis and St. Fed. So welcome all of you. So I usually begin with a joke. What's the difference between people who pray in the casino and people who pray in church? Yeah, um, no, people in the casinos really mean it. Right? So, uh, right? so somebody, you and I are here, right, in some ways, uh, to, gather, uh, uh, to gather into prayer. It is a very auspicious day. I think that this should be a red letter day in the annals of uh, St. Priest of Calcutta Parish. Today is the 60th anniversary of the beginning of uh, Vatican Council II, called uh, by uh, Pope John XXIII. And today is the feast day of uh, Pope St. John XXIII. And the American National Catholic Church is a uh, Catholic jurisdiction committed to the reforms of Vatican Council II, to moving those forward in very pastoral and practical ways in the life of the church. And so today, uh, as St. Teresa of Calcutta is uh, 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 grafting herself on to the American National Catholic Church as an authentic witness uh, to the truth of the Catholic faith that is conserved in all of our, uh, in all of our uh, understandings of our theology of God's inclusive and extravagant love for everyone, right? And so today, it is a, it is a remarkable red letter day. Uh, if you keep a parish diary, this should be written in red, right? That uh, on this day, on this wonderful celebration of the 60th anniversary of Vatican Council II and on the feast of uh, Pope St. John the 23rd, that the parish and your clergy have, uh, have joined the American National Catholic Church. Uh, I wanted to uh, uh, thank the Board of Ministry who I met at dinner last night. Uh, I love when I uh, do some pastoral visits, I get to eat a lot, right? So it's very nice. I like that. And so, uh, so it was a wonderful celebration for us. And uh, my, my, my remarks generally at events like this are somewhat limited because I think that the, uh, the us gathering in prayer, the liturgy of the hours of the church, uh, that has been going on for centuries might reflect your commitment to the church and might help you understand that we in the American National Catholic Church celebrate with, uh, with great joy all of the uh, liturgies of the Catholic Church in real and meaningful ways. And so the psalms that we have for tonight in particular, uh, I love the, the psalmist uh, always bring some psychological understanding of our relationship uh, to God. And so we hear the psalmist in this particular uh, set of psalms uh, uh, saying uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, uh, on, the, uh, on the shores of, uh, of uh, Babylon, we hung up our harps and we wept, right? And so, uh, so that while there is weeping, there is also joy. And so this occasion that you and I come today might be a, a cause for our joy as well, right? The American National Catholic Church uh, is a community of faith that uh, is contemporaneous with Rome 
we probably existed prior to the consolidation of authority in Rome in 313. I know that's a long time ago, but when Constantine moved the empire from Rome to Constantinople, he left the power back in and that was filled in by a Roman aristocracy. And Rome did what she's good at. She, she uh, organized and she unified. Uh, what she's not so good at is she uh, suppressed some of the national churches. And so I just want you to know that that's who we are. So, uh, so we, uh, we, uh, we adopt fully all of the theology of the Catholic Church. We, uh, we have moved the, the understanding of that uh, in our communities, I think, in a theological and logical way forward from what we received at Vatican Council II. And so, uh, so you, uh, I know, have been uh, members of St. Teresa of Calcutta and being led by Father Vincent, are an open and welcoming community, as we are all uh, uh, told to do, right? Uh, not so much by the church, but by Christ's example. And so hopefully we'll continue that together. Um, when I met with your board of ministries, ministries, uh, the American National Catholic Church has a, uh, I think, a broader structure in which you can uh, feel more comfortable functioning in. We'll certainly resource you when we can, and you'll certainly resource us when you can, right? Uh, the deal for us is covenantal. We are in covenant with each other. Uh, we care for each other, we pray for each other, uh, you pray for us and we pray for you, right? Uh, and so, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, the, the, the leadership of your parish might find some comfort in knowing that there's a national uh, set of resources that they can use to support you uh, in your parish ministry, right? So I know we're going to have some dessert afterwards, which is my favorite thing. So I'll stop there and you can ask me some questions as we gather there. Is that all right? They're good? So let's continue that in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Scripture 
that when brethren dwell at one, there is great peace in that. And so, Father, Victor and I have journeyed uh, in, uh, in a parallel way to serve the church. And after many years of knowing each other, uh, he comes uh, fully into the uh, American National Catholic Church. And that prayer that we all recited together, that is for you as well as the parish, right? You will participate in the councils of the church. You will help us make really important decisions. And we will uh, continue to trust the leadership of this parish to, uh, to Father Victor, right? So pray for him, right? That God might get, uh, keep him strong and, uh, and preserve him. Victor, do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. Father Victor, may the Lord who has begun this good work in you bring it to completion on the day of your salvation. Amen. 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 Offer each other a sign of peace. Father Victor's going to come down and get that from me. As you know, the vestments uh, of the church are worn uh, in a uh, manner of respect and have significance uh, for the celebration of the sacred liturgies. The stole is given to us as a sign of our willingness to accept uh, the yoke of Christ and as a symbol of our authority to teach. And so the American National Catholic Church has uh, particular vestments that we wear at all of our celebrations. And so uh, th on this evening, I present uh, Father Victor with the stole of the American National Catholic Church, asking him to pray God that he may continue to strengthen uh, the yoke that God has given him. The chasuble in Latin means little house. And the chasuble is, uh, is born as our sign of willingness to become a new creation in Christ. Each of our vestments come with a particular prayer that we say before we put them on. And the chasuble, uh, the prayer that we pray is, is that we might uh, accept the responsibility of being daily converted and becoming a new person in Jesus Christ. And so, uh, Father Victor, I give you this little house to remind you, right, uh, that our daily uh, need for conversion, praying that God might indeed uh, inspire you uh, to great acts of, uh, of conversion and witness to the gospel. So by your applause, Be it known that on this 14th day of September in 2022, although we are now on October 11th, 2022, uh, the year after the Incarnation, we in the name of God and by the authority invested in us as the presiding bishop of the American National Catholic Church, hereby grant for a period of two years to Reverend Father Victor Clark Ray full faculties to administer the word and sacrament to the people of God according to the order of priests in the American National Catholic Church in obedience to his bishop or the bishop's designee and is entitled to do so without censure. By these faculties, we acknowledge that the above name was ordained to the priesthood of Jesus Christ in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church and is a priest in good standing. 
In faith and testimony, we have hereunto set our signature and seal, the most reverend George R. Lucy, DDFCN, presiding bishop of the American National Catholic Church. That's me. <laughs> So my understanding is, is that Father Victor also has a similar document for the parish. Uh, uh, so you, uh, he left that home. So, uh, so we'll make sure he gets that to you, all right? So. My brothers and sisters, let us continue with our evening prayer. As we say together, the Canticle of the Magnificat. Do great things for us, O Lord, for you are mighty and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my salvation, for he has shown me such favor, that he is lowly and handmaid. Now
It is my privilege as a successor to the apostles to impart on you my apostolic blessing. So I'm going to say the Lord be with you, and you're going to say, also with you. I'm going to say our help is in the name of the Lord, and you're going to say who made heaven and earth. And I'm going to say blessed be the name of the Lord, and you're going to say both now and forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Both now and forever. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. 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 Let us join together in singing this Salve Regina. Smile, it's okay. <laughs> 